सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर थ्री अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वाड्री लैटरल्स पेज नंबर फोर्टी फाइव थ्री पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट टू काइट काइट इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ अ क्वाड्री लैटरल द साइड्स with the same markings in each figure are equal for example ab is equal to ad and bc is equal to cd here we have three shapes these are kites there are a pair of single dashes and double dashes on each shape then we have three shapes more these are not kites two of the shapes have a pair of single dashes and double dashes while the third shape has three double dashes study these figures and try to describe what a kite is observe that one a kite has four sides it is a quadrilateral two there are exactly two distinct consecutive pairs of sides of equal length check whether a square is a kite do this take a thick white sheet fold the paper once draw two line segments of different lengths as you can observe in figure 3.12 figure 3.12 the paper has been folded and the line segments have been drawn as explained earlier cut along the line segments and open up you have the shape of a kite figure 3.13 in figure 3.13 we can observe a kite abcd there is a dotted line running from a to c has the kite any line symmetry fold both the diagonals of the kite use the set square to check if they cut at right angles are the diagonals equal in length verify by paper folding or measurement if the diagonals bisect each other by folding an angle of the kite on its opposite check for angles of equal measure observe the diagonal folds do they indicate any diagonal being an angle bisector share your findings with others and list them a summary of these results are given elsewhere in the chapter for your reference show that triangle abc and triangle adc are congruent what do we infer from this page number 46 3.4.3 parallelogram a parallelogram is a quadrilateral as the name suggests it has something to do with parallel lines here we have three quadrilaterals that are parallelograms abcd where ab is parallel to dc ad is parallel to bc pqrs where qp is parallel to sr qs is parallel to pr and lmno where lm is parallel to on lo is parallel to mn three shapes that are not parallelograms abcd where ab is parallel to cd abcdef where ab is parallel to ed and bc is parallel to fe and a quadrilateral whose sides haven't been named study these figures and try to describe in your own words what we mean by a parallelogram share your observations with your friends check whether a rectangle is also a parallelogram do this take two different rectangular cardboard strips of different widths you can observe this in figure 3.14 figure 3.14 we have two strips here strip 1 and strip 2 strip 2 is larger in size as compared to strip 1 place one strip horizontally and draw lines along its edge as drawn in the figure figure 3.15 
Now, place the other strip in a slant position over the lines drawn and use this to draw two more lines as you can observe in figure 3.16. Figure 3.15 Here, we have two parallel lines. Figure 3.16 These parallel lines have been crossed by two parallel lines. These four lines enclose a quadrilateral. This is made up of two pairs of parallel lines as you can observe in figure 3.17. In figure 3.17, a quadrilateral has been formed with the help of two pairs of intersecting lines. Page number 47 It is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. 3.4.4 Elements of a parallelogram There are four sides and four angles in a parallelogram. Some of these are equal. There are some terms associated with these elements that you need to remember. Given a parallelogram ABCD as you can observe in figure 3.18. Figure 3.18 Here we have a parallelogram ABCD. AB and DC are opposite sides. AD and BC form another pair of opposite sides. Angle A and angle C are a pair of opposite angles. Another pair of opposite angles would be angle B and angle D. AB and BC are adjacent sides. This means one of the sides starts where the other ends. Are BC and CD adjacent sides too? Try to find two more pairs of adjacent sides. Angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. They are at the ends of the same side. Angle B and angle C are also adjacent. Identify other pairs of adjacent angles of the parallelogram. Do this. Take cutouts of two identical parallelograms, say ABCD and A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. You can observe this in figure 3.19. Figure 3.19. Here we have two parallelograms. One is ABCD, the other is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Here AB is same as A dash B dash except for the name. Similarly, the other corresponding sides are equal to. Place A dash B dash over DC. Do they coincide? What can you now say about the lengths AB and DC? Similarly, examine the lengths AD and BC. What do you find? You may also arrive at this result by measuring AB and DC. Property The opposite sides of a parallelogram are of equal length. Try these. Take two identical set squares with angles 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree and place them adjacently to form a parallelogram as you can observe in figure 3.20. Does this help you verify the above property? Figure 3.20 Here we have a parallelogram which has been formed with the help of a couple of identical set squares. You can further strengthen this idea through a logical argument also. Consider a parallelogram ABCD. You can observe it in figure 3.21. Figure 3.21 Here we have a parallelogram ABCD. A diagonal runs from A to C with the help of a dotted line. Angle A has been divided into two angles, 1 and 4. C has been divided into two angles, 2 and 3. Draw any one diagonal, say, AC. Page number 48. Looking at the angles, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Why? Since in triangles ABC and ADC, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 
angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and AC is common, so by ASA congruency condition, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. How is ASA used here? This gives AB is equal to DC and BC is equal to AD. Example 3. Find the perimeter of the parallelogram PQRS. You can observe it in figure 3.22. Solution. In a parallelogram, the opposite sides have the same length. Therefore, PQ is equal to SR is equal to 12 cm and QR is equal to PS is equal to 7 cm. So, perimeter is equal to PQ plus QR plus RS plus SP is equal to 12 cm plus 7 cm plus 12 cm plus 7 cm is equal to 38 cm. Figure 3.22 Here we have a parallelogram PQRS. PQ is equal to 12 cm. QR is equal to 7 cm. 3.4.5 Angles of a parallelogram We studied a property of parallelograms concerning the opposite sides. What can we say about the angles? Do this. Let ABCD be a parallelogram. You can observe it in figure 3.23. Copy it on a tracing sheet. Name this copy as A-B-C-D- Place A-B-C-D- on ABCD. Pin them together at the point where the diagonals meet. Rotate the transparent sheet by 180 degree. The parallelograms still coincide but you now find A dash lying exactly on C and vice versa. Similarly, B dash lies on D and vice versa. Figure 3.23 Here, we have two parallelograms placed over each other. Center is O dash. The first parallelogram is ABCD and the second parallelogram is A dash B dash C dash D dash. Does this tell you anything about the measures of the angles A and C? Examine the same for angles B and D. State your findings. Property The opposite angles of a parallelogram are of equal measure. Try these. Take two identical 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree set squares and form a parallelogram as before. Does the figure obtained help you to confirm the above property? You can further justify this idea through logical arguments. If AC and BD are the diagonals of the parallelograms, you can observe this in figure 3.24. You find that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Why? Figure 3.24 Here we have a parallelogram ABCD. AC and BD are diagonals made with the help of dotted lines. Angle A has been divided into angle 1 and 4. Angle C has been divided into angle 2 and 3. Page number 49 Studying triangle ABC and ADC, you can observe in figure 3.25 separately will help you see that by ASA congruency condition, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. How? Figure 3.25 Here we have two triangles, ABC and ACD. AC and AC are of equal length and have been made with the form of dotted line. Two dashes have been made on them to show that they are equal. This shows that angle B and angle D have same measure. In the same way, you can get M angle A is equal to M angle C. Alternatively, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. We have M angle A is equal to angle 1 plus angle 4 is equal to angle 2 plus angle C, M angle C. Example 4. In figure 3.26, 
BEST is a parallelogram. Find the values x, y and z. Figure 3.26 Here, we have a parallelogram BEST. Angle B is equal to 100 degree. Angle S is equal to x. Angle E, the interior angle is z and exterior angle is y. Solution S is opposite to B. So, x is equal to 100 degree, opposite angle's property. y is equal to 100 degree, measure of angle corresponding to angle x. z is equal to 80 degree, since angle y, angle z is a linear pair. We now turn our attention to adjacent angles of a parallelogram. In parallelogram ABCD, you can observe in figure 3.27. Figure 3.27, we have a parallelogram ABCD. Angle A and angle D are supplementary since DC is parallel to AB and with transversal DA, these two angles are interior opposite. Angle A and angle B are also supplementary. Can you say why? AD is parallel to BC and BA is a transversal making angle A and angle B interior opposite. Identify two more pairs of supplementary angles from the figure. Property. The adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. Example 5. In a parallelogram RING, you can observe in figure 3.28, if M angle R is equal to 70 degree, find all the other angles. Figure 3.28 Here, we have a parallelogram RING. Angle R is equal to 70 degree. Solution Given M angle R is equal to 70 degree, then M angle N is equal to 70 degree. Because angle R and angle N are opposite angles of a parallelogram, since angle R and angle I are supplementary, M angle I is equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree is equal to 110 degree. Also, M angle G is equal to 110 degree since angle G is opposite to angle I. Thus, M angle R is equal to M angle N is equal to 70 degree and M angle I is equal to M angle G is equal to 110 degree. Page number 50. Think, discuss and write. After showing M angle R is equal to M angle N is equal to 70 degree, can you find M angle I and M angle G by any other method? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Somya Malik Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India